Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to print your transactions in GNU Cash and also how to export them into Excel so you can have a tabular view. This video was requested by two of my viewers, so this video is for you. Thank you for watching and let's get to the video. Okay, open the file that you would like to print the transactions from. So in this case, I'm using the test register that I created in my previous video. So from here, I'm going to click on reports. We're going to click on transaction report. From here, nothing has been configured, so we have to set it up. So we're going to click on edit report options. Or you can also click on options up here. And now we're going to go through the tabs up here. So I'm going to click on accounts and I'm going to select the account that I would like to uh, print the transactions from. So in this case, I'm going to choose checking account because everything is on the checking account. And I'm going to click on currency. Currency, we're going to leave it as is. I'm going to click on display. Now on display, you have many options here. You can choose what type of information you would see on the um, transaction report. So I'm going to click apply so you can see what we have so far. So this is what we have so far uh, on the report. I'm going to add the account name to see what it looks like here. Apply. So we have the account name. And also, let's see, I don't need the memo or notes, so I'm going to uncheck that. And uh, let's click apply. Okay, it looks, that's what it looks like. And then from here, um, I think that's good. I'm going to click on filter. I'm not going to filter anything. Leave everything as is. Under general, uh, this is the report name. You're more than welcome to change uh, the title. I normally don't save it, but if you want to save it, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, on the start date, because my register has dates that are kind of old. If you go back here, we have 2001. So I have to go back here on the options and on the date. Uh, for the start date, I'm going to choose a uh, start of previous year. Just because of the transactions that I have on my register. And then the end date is going to be today current date and let's click apply to see what it looks like so these are all the transactions that we have on the register and then let's click on sorting and if you want to sort by any of these uh, categories or columns you're more than welcome to do that but i'm going to leave it like that so let's see we have one two three four five six seven transactions um, on the register on the checking account so if we click here on their accounts and look at the checking account one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have the seven accounts right here. So this is how you get the transaction report ready uh, to print. So let's say you want to print it. If you print it, you see a button here, make PDF. It's going to come out as a PDF file. So click on make PDF and then you will give it a name and save it on your local hard drive. I'm not going to save it now, but uh, you're more than welcome to do so. So I'm going to cancel here. It's going to be a PDF. Uh, you also can export it here, but if you look here on top, it says save HTML to file. That means that it's going to be saved as an HTML and then you will be able to open it on your browser, but it's still going to be a PDF file. I'm not going to save it, so let's cancel here. Now, let's say that you don't want a PDF and you don't want to export it as we saw here on the export. You just want to see it in a tabular view like in Excel. So the only way to do that or the workaround is to copy all this information and paste it into Excel. That's the only workaround that I found and that's what I use. So I'm going to, on my keyboard, I'm going to press Control A to select all. I'm using Windows. I'm going to open Excel and let's go into a new sheet and right click and paste it. So I have all the transactions pasted here in Excel. Okay, now you have a tabular view and in Excel, you can do whatever you need to do in Excel and then print it if you want in uh, this view, the tabular view. Um, but that's the only way. And then of course you can do the same thing if you wanna use Google Sheets or something like that, it will be the same uh, process. Control C and then Control V on your computer. And that's it. That's how you uh, print a list of transactions in GNU Cash and also uh, copy and paste them into Excel so you can have the tabular view. I hope you found this video helpful. 
If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and be well.